What's up and welcome to The Cap, where we always keep you in the conversation. Today we ship the East, home alone in Dallas and MVP of Steel. All that and so much more, it's time to get capped, let's go. The Milton Bradley game called Battleship is part of my early childhood. Its origins seem to come from the French game La Attaque played during World War I. The premise of the game is really simple. It's a two-player strategy game where opposing sides have grids of ships and when all the ships on one side have been sunk, then the game is over. So if the Eastern Conference Finals were a game of Battleship, then the Toronto Raptors have entered some really choppy waters with bigger, badder, tougher ships. And the biggest, baddest ship in the sea, LeBron James. He had a triple-double last night, 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love did their job, and now the Cavs have a two-game series lead as they head to Toronto when this battle is almost halfway over. The epic rock band Coldplay, first started by lead singer Chris Martin and a buddy at University College London, has been entertaining fans around the world for over a decade with great songs like Fix You and Yellow. In 2014, they put out a new love song called Magic that poses the question to someone, and if I were to ask you, after all we've been through, if you still believe in magic, oh yes I do. I hope the fans in Orlando have the same answer because they've got some magic coming to them. Frank Vogel, winning coach Frank Vogel, just signed a four-year deal worth over $22 million to coach the Orlando Magic. And with a young nucleus of talent like Aaron Gordon and Brandon Jennings, no doubt this guy will turn them around in a quick way. Let's move on to a little hockey. On the ice last night in San Jose, the Sharks continued their offensive attack, picking up two great goals from Tomas Hurdle and 22 perfect saves from goalkeeper Martin Jones. The Sharks take a 2-1 series lead and are looking lethal moving into Game 4. On to golf. I have this app on my iPad called House that allows me to design my future dream home. And recently I've been getting inspiration from golfer Jordan Spieth and his new 17,000 square foot home in Dallas that features a golf simulator, a 12 car parking garage, and an underground basketball court. He must be enjoying being home this week too because he shot 6 under par 64 at the Byron Nelson yesterday and he's only one stroke back going into the day. With all these luxuries and accommodations for the weekend, I like his chances to win this golf tournament. And in captivating technology, let's wrap it up today talking about something groundbreaking and awesome. The 1982 movie Blade Runner starring Harrison Ford saw him chasing replicants or robots that were visually indistinguishable from humans. Now the Pittsburgh Steelers football team wants in on the robot game with technology designed at Dartmouth University. It's called Mobile Virtual Players or MVPs and they're basically remote controlled tackling dummies that simulate a real player at real speed. But the best part, they never get tired. So I guess with all this, Mike Tomlin has come up with a new meaning for the term, Men of Steel. That's it for us today. I'm Brooke Lander, and you've just been capped.